Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Shana May. I created a look dedicated to fall, since fall is approaching. And I say approaching because here in Chicago, the weather is constantly changing. One day it'll be sweater weather, the next day you'll be seeing people legs. But it's October and the leaves are falling, so dark purple lip is a staple and go-to for the fall. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, just keep watching. Right here, I am priming my left eye with the Lancome Effersense Waterproof Concealer. Blending it out with a clean beauty blender, then setting it with the Airspun Loose Face Powder in Natural Neutral. For my transition color, I will be using the color Lure in the Anastasia Prism Palette. I am adding depth in my crease with the color Bombshell in the Tarlette Palette. To cut my crease, I am using my Holy Grail NYX Concealer Palette. Placing the color Dimension in the Prism Palette right in the middle of my eyelids. It's essential to retouch your existing colors to enhance pigmentation and to keep it neat. The last color I'm using for my eyes is Lucid in the Prism Palette. I think glitter is so pretty so I can't help but add any bit of glitter to my eye. I am tracing my cut crease with this purple glittery eyeliner. Moving on to the face, I am using Physician Formula Spotlight Primer for the first time. I really liked it. It's very illuminating. For my foundation, I am using L'Oreal True Match in W6, applying it with my hands, then blending it out with a beauty blender. I am using the Lancome Effersense Waterproof Concealer to conceal around my mouth, under my eyes, and my forehead, then blending it out with this clean beauty blender, then setting it lightly with the Airspun Loose Setting Powder. Since I am done with cream products, I will be setting my full face with the Airspun Loose Powder with this very pretty fluffy brush called Mr. Right by Too Faced. I am now applying the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in the shade Medium with the e.l.f. Fluffy Precision Brush. Thank you. 
I always apply bronzer on the temples of my forehead, my cheekbones, my neck, and my nose. I don't contour my nose ever because I like my nose the way it is. Using the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, I will be applying the Laura Mercier Blush in Rose Petal to the highest points of my cheekbones. For my underbrow highlight, I will be using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlight in Precious Petals. It's very important to blend out your eyeshadow when you add more color to your look. Finally finishing up my eye look with Luair and Bombshell in my waterline. Here I am applying Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlight in Precious Petals to my cheekbones, nose bridge, and cupid's bow. To line my lips, I will be using the MAC Pro Longwear Lip Pencil in Be Spoken For, then applying Kylie Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipstick in Court K. I really wanted my inner corner to pop, so I am using the Steeler Glitter and Glow Eyeshadow Stick in Ballet Baby. I didn't have any eyelash glue, so I had to settle for the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, and it's my absolute favorite mascara of all time. Setting my makeup with the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Thank you so much for watching this makeup tutorial dedicated to fall here on Shana May. I hope y'all liked it and we appreciate y'all so much. <laughs>